Morning, we are breaking down the results from the Illinois primary. It was a close contest in the 12th Congressional District with Mike Boss getting 52% of the votes. Votes Darren Bailey followed closely with 48%. Now that is with 94% of precincts reporting this morning. For the Democratic nominees, Brian Roberts received 60% of the, of the vote with Preston Nelson getting 40%. Less than 17,000 Illinoisans voted in the Democratic primary yesterday. Now the GOP nomination for the 12th district was being closely watched all across the nation. Megan Kernan is joining us live from Belleville with reaction from both camps. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Michelle. Congressman Mike Boss was able to squeeze out the win in the Republican primary for the 12th Congressional District, just beating out Darren Bailey. Now, the close race had a definitive split. The west side of the district going to Boss and the east going to Bailey. Boss has held the Illinois 12th Congressional District seat since 2015 and has been in politics for decades. In this race, Boss had some pretty big endorsements, including from former President Donald Trump and the NRA. Even though Boss had not heard from him when he gave his victory speech, Darren Bailey conceded by the end of the evening. I want to make sure that this nation advances, that we stop the fighting. Mm -hmm. We work together as Republicans. I'm, I'm a big believer in Ronald Reagan when he used to say, you know what, if you're 80% with me, you're my friend. Let's not give up. Let's start educating ourselves and finding out how our elected officials are voting and let's hold them accountable because our children, our grandchildren, our nation and our state, it depends on it. Now, Boss says the issues he wants to continue to focus on are agriculture, health care, and securing the border. Now, across the river in Missouri, the upcoming primary election is on August 6th. Live in downtown Belleville, Megan Kernan, five on your side. Thank you, Megan. President Biden won the Democratic primary with 91% of the vote, with 97% of precincts reporting. And former President Donald Trump won the GOP primary with 81% of the votes. Political editor Mark Maxwell has a breakdown of the votes for both parties. The biggest race we were all watching was that Illinois 12th Congressional District because we kind of knew the presidential race was already decided. Donald Trump with 80% of the votes statewide. But look at that, Nikki Haley with 14%. Let's turn on this heat map and we'll see where some of these, look at this, Champaign County, some of the youngest college age voters in all of Illinois, 25% of them going for Nikki Haley. Let's come a little closer to our neck of the woods. Let's go over to St. Clair County, 14%. DuPage County, this is a very populated county in the Chicago suburbs, 21% for Nikki Haley. What does all that suggest? That's a big block of voters. You look at the exit polling data, a lot of Nikki Haley voters say they're considering voting for Joe Biden in November. If Biden can moderate to the middle and then somehow clean up his far left flank with the progressive voters, those who don't like his policy in Gaza, if he can cobble those together, you see there that's a bit of a coalition that Joe Biden can build for himself. So you're seeing some weakness from Donald Trump. Real quick, we'll take a look at President Biden and see that he just doesn't have the same I mean, 91 percent, he's doing a little better amongst his base. But and you look at the total number of votes statewide here, we'll go total votes for the Democrats. You see 73, uh, 739,000 rather. And we're going to compare this to the Republicans, just 570. Not a big surprise in Illinois, Joe Biden outperforming Donald Trump. But when you look at the places where Joe Biden is winning and the places where Nikki Haley performed better than most, it gives you a bit of an indication what November might look like. All of the primary results are scrolling at the bottom of your screen right now. They're also available at kck.com slash elections. You can also text the word results to 314-425-5355 and we will send you a link.